Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, October 28, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Jacksonville, Florida. The FBI today released an interesting flash bulletin stating that they identified actors that started actually back in April to exfiltrate source code using vulnerable Sonar Cube instances. Sonar Cube is typically used uh, to check code quality and do static code analysis. As such, the tool shouldn't really be exposed to the public, but apparently exposed instances that are also badly configured are then being exploited to exfiltrate code. So this is not necessarily a vulnerability in Sonar Cube per se, but more a vulnerability in how it is configured. They're not going into too many details here as to what the exact uh, vulnerability is that's being exploited, but uh, Sonar Cube comes pre-configured with well-known credentials, username admin and password admin. Also, there have been problems in the past, for example, with Jenkins integrations and such that uh, did reveal uh, the Sonar Cube uh, password. It is my guess that this is probably all about default credentials or credentials that have been leaked before. So essentially credential stuffing. And if you received today an update from Microsoft for Microsoft's Edge browser, don't be too surprised. Uh, this is actually a Chromium update. Uh, Microsoft Edge is now based, of course, on the Chromium project, just like Google Chrome. And as such, well, whenever there are Chromium patches, you will see Microsoft Edge patches, which of course is not necessarily aligned with Microsoft's Patch Tuesday. The highest severity of the fixes that were released today in a total of five vulnerabilities were, released, were fixed uh, is high. And one particular vulnerability, CVE 2020-15999, has already been exploited in the wild. And while it is not Patch Tuesday today, it is the fourth Tuesday in the month. And that means that Microsoft released uh, some sort of functional updates uh, to Windows and its products. Now, we often don't uh, cover these updates because they're not really security relevant. But one interesting update that was pushed out today is the removal tool for Adobe Flash Player. With Adobe Flash Player officially going out of support by the end of the year, Microsoft did push this tool out that will remove Adobe Flash Player. Interestingly, it will be quite difficult to reinstall Adobe Flash Player after you run this tool. Microsoft states you either have to reset your device to an earlier restore point or, well, reinstall Windows in order to not have this update interfere with the installation of Adobe Flash Player. So be a little bit careful if you left Adobe Flash Player installed for some specific reason. And this story, Cinema in his blog published uh, interesting details about how Microsoft Teams policies are applied and, well, why they should not be used as a security feature. Microsoft Teams policy allow you uh, to sort of impose certain restrictions on clients, like, for example, when messages can be deleted or edited after they have been sent. And with that, you can uh, also prevent access from uh, guests and the like, or restrict users based on certain user groups. The problem, however, is that all of these policies are enforced on the client. And well, if you have been uh, to any of my class pretty much, but in particular the defending web application security classes, you probably know first rule of security. The user is always evil and out there to get you. You can't trust the client to actually enforce any kind of security policy because the user in the end controls the client. And that's exactly what's wrong with these Microsoft Teams policies that uh, they are being pushed to the client, but it's really up to the client to enforce them. Of course, 
a sophisticated user that knows how to tamper with these policies once they have been pushed to the client will easily be able to bypass these policies. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.